Hi guys, my name is Diana, and welcome to the July episode of Inno Games TV. With the temperatures rising and summer finally arriving in Hamburg, we decided to bring you really cool things this month. So let's go to the overview and check that out. We start the show off with Timon and Oliver showing you fellowships. Next, we move on to Forge of Empires, where Pear shows you their new summer event. Then, the lead iOS developer for Travel Wars 2 introduces the iOS app. Plus, Travel Wars is festive this month with their 12-year anniversary. And, last but not least, the West tells you about their Global Quest contest. So guys, before we go over to Elvenar, you're probably wondering, who won the crown contest from last episode? Well, check this picture out. It was Francisca from Germany. Congratulations, Francisca. We'll get in touch with you and you'll receive your two tickets. Now, let's go over to Timon and Oliver where they will explain to you Elvenar's fellowships. Hello and welcome back to Elvenar News. If you want to be a cool team like Timon and me, Oliver, <laughs> you might want to try out our newest feature, fellowships. Fellowships are Elvenar's take on guilds, a feature you probably know from other games. Fellowships are player communities where people of similar playstyles or interests gather to make their everyday play experience easier and more fun. Fellowships grant a variety of benefits. In the Trader, you can see offers of your other fellows and accept them without a fee. You can give neighborly help to all your other fellows. And finally, We'll add a circular mail functionality to our message system, so you can communicate fast and easy with your fellows. A chat will also be added soon. There are three ways to become part of a fellowship. You can found your own fellowship, set the name, customize the banner and write a short description. Or you apply to an already existing fellowship. Just visit a player with a fellowship, open the fellowship window and click on apply. You have to wait until the Fellowship approves your application. The third way is the most comfortable one. Fellowships can send invites to other players. Check for invites in your Fellowship window and accept one. Done. Alright fellows, we hope you are looking forward to this exciting new feature. It will be released in a few weeks. Don't forget to visit our forums to let us know what you think about it. We will have a live Q&A on Twitch and Periscope soon. Until then, keep on playing! Oh goodness, summer is really hitting Hamburg. But you know what else summer is hitting? Forge of Empires. So let's go to Pear and see what he has to say about the summer event. Hello Forge fans! My name is Indiana Kröger. I'm a game designer of your beloved game. And today I want to take you on an oriental expedition. Here, look into your city. Greva Darn is there and opened a summer casino where she's giving away great rewards. This time it's oriental themed, so you can um, win a couple of really great summer buildings which fit the theme, like the Sphinx, the Ziggurat, which gives away free population, the Caravansary, which gives medals and goods when it's motivated, and the Bazaar, which allows you to produce almost everything. So, here's how it goes. Gravadarn is up there and she asks you to do all sorts of quests for her. This time she gets mysterious love letters from a secret admirer and you have to help her figure out who's behind all this. So follow the questline, do what she asks and do what other people that might appear in the questline ask and you will get rewarded with spin tickets. Take these spin tickets into the summer casino and go and use them on the Wheel of Fortune. You can either spin and win something immediately or you can refresh and uh, exchange all the rewards on the wheel with a new set and win what is on the next wheel. But it's not quite that simple because there is a twist to it. You share the Wheel of Fortune with your whole neighborhood. That means in case someone else spins faster than you and wins the four copies of a single item, then it's gone for you. And you have to wait until it pops up on another wheel. Also, if someone else refreshes the wheel, it might take away some nice rewards which you were aiming for. So be sure to check the Wheel of Fortune often to not miss the great rewards you're aiming for. And they are really great because not only you can get 
your hands on some of the awesome new summer buildings. No, you can also get great event buildings from past events and you can win even premium buildings. Also, keep your eyes open for a new set of player portraits. There are six of them in total and they all fit the oriental theme of our event. So, um, before you know it, you can dress yourself up as Delilah, as um, Raja, as Frida, or as this funny looking adventurer guy called Jones. There's one more thing to the summer event wheel. Um, look up here in the corner. That's what is called a neighborhood goal. So, um, I told you before, you share the wheel of fortune with your neighborhood. So be sure to spin it often and be sure your neighbors spin it often because every spin in your neighborhood counts. Every time um, someone spins or refreshes the wheel, this uh, number here gets increased by one. And once it reaches 77 spins in your neighborhood, it's reset and there is a payout of 20 medals for everyone. All right, adventurers, go and check our summer event. It's available in the game right now on all platforms, including mobile, and it's gonna stay there for the next three weeks. All right, Forge fans, um, I hope you're gonna enjoy our summer event and I will go and continue my expedition. See you around next time. Okay guys, sorry. I was just so busy playing Tribal Wars 2 now that it has an iOS app, but you guys probably didn't know that. So let's go to Bjorn from Tribal Wars 2 who will talk to you more about it. Hi Boreas, my name is Björn, I'm the iOS lead developer of Troy Wars 2 and today I'm showing you our brand new iOS app. So as you can see when you start the app you will notice the interface is quite similar to the browser version. Although it looks similar it has been optimized for mobile. We added some gestures like zooming in or out of your village and of course you can also move around in the map. You can enter your village by zooming into it or double tapping on it. As you already know from the browser version, you can build troops, upgrade your buildings, summon your paladin or use the daily unit deal. Over here you can access the quests which you should always complete to get bonuses and manage them in your inventory. Make sure you don't miss the daily login bonus as well. Of course, we didn't forget about the key features of the game, like a playing for tribe, attacking, plundering or conquering enemies' villages. Another cool feature is our resource deposit, which is also included in the app. We obviously care about what you guys have to say, so we added the village dropdown to make it easier for you to access them. We are currently working on the tribe forums and the second village feature, so expect them to hit the app soon. To actually play the game, you need a device supporting iOS 7. So that's it from my side, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to download the app from the App Store and see you on the battlefield. So did you know we're gonna have a teenager here soon in InnoGames? No, I'm not talking about a kid, I'm talking about Travel Wars since they're celebrating their 12-year anniversary. So let's go to Toma, who will tell you more about it. Hi, I am Toma, the commander of Tribal Wars. This month, we reach a special milestone for our game. Tribal Wars, also known as Die Stemme in Germany, was started 12 years ago as a hobby project by the founding members of InnoGames. 12 years is a really long time in the world of video games, and we are really proud to still be presenting the latest update about the game after all this time. A lot have changed in 12 years, of course, InnoGames became a company with multiple games, and Tribal Wars went through different changes. The way the village overview looks like can definitely reflect that. We wanted to take the time to thank all of you, the millions of players who played and are playing Tribal Wars, because it is thanks to you that the game has been here for so long and is what it is today and continue to progress and evolve. We are really grateful to contribute to a product that created such a big community and had an impact on so many people. And I don't mean just having to get up in the middle of the night because of incoming attacks. We will continue working on the game and improve it for new and old players. In the last year, we integrated a chat, introduced the dynamic groups, implemented comment sharing, a mentoring system and the browser notifications. We want to continue improving the game experience without changing it too much to make sure Tribal Wars is still enjoyable for the years to come. While I can't go too much into details, we're planning changes to the Paladin, the introductory quests, and small additions to the tribe in the future. 
we'll of course let you know in time. We want to thank you all for your loyalty for Travelers. See you in the game! Now, let me introduce to you a new face to the West, Anna, your lead community manager, who, along with Stephanie, will tell you what's going on right now in the game. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie, game designer of the West, and I'm here with my colleague Anna. She's our lead community manager, and today we're going to talk about quests. So, we have a new quest line, it's called Desert Treasure, and it's a follow up from the quest line Relentless. After all the records in Big Bourbon, Irish Bob comes looking for your help. He's heard of a valuable loot somewhere hidden in the desert and wants you as a guide. Together with his lawyer biographer, the three of you set out on a fiery treasure hunt. Also, two small quests are currently in the making, but that's not all. Exactly! For all you creative ones, I have something special. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to create your own questline and have it implemented into the game? If you're interested in Native Americans and their history, write an Indian-inspired questline consisting of maximum 15 quests and post it on your language-dedicated forum. But hurry up, we're waiting for your stories till 3rd of July. Bye! So that was it for the July episode of Inno Games TV. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. Plus, if you want to see us live, make sure to follow us on Periscope. We'll be doing live Q&A sessions pretty frequently. So please leave us your feedback and we'll see you next month. Bye!